Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to use Stable Diffusion Excel version 1 within Automatic 11.11. .11. I haven't been able to install it on Mac yet because I'm getting a lot of issues at the moment, so I'm going to go through Windows. Hopefully it will be helpful. Actually on Windows it's super easy, so if you have never installed it, you just need to go into the main GitHub page of Automatic 11.11, .11, which is this one, and then you copy this code in here, you open your command, command prompt, then you check where you are in the directory, you dive in the folder where you would like to install your Automatic 11.11, .11. in my case I want to do that on my documents, let's do that. So I will change directory and type document and then I will git clone the link I've just copied from the github page. So here it's giving me a warning, press yes, then it's going to ask me to enter my password for the laptop, I'm gonna enter it. So when you type the password inside your command line, you cannot see it. So if you're typing, but you cannot see anything coming out, no worries, something is happening. So you just insert your password and press enter. And then we'll get all of the data from the GitHub page, super quick. So now if I go into my documents, I'll have this new stable diffusion web UI folder with all of the different files from github and this is the first step now if you have already stable diffusion instead what you have to do I have this uh, stable diffusion web ui on my desktop okay so i'll open my command line again i'll see where i am i'll dive into desktop and then i'll dive into stable diffusion web ui so change directory stable diffusion web UI. Let's see what's inside. Okay, cool. And then here we just need to type git pull. So this is going to update my folder with the new updates from GitHub. It's going to ask you some permission. You need to type yes. And then you will need to enter your password again of the computer. Also in this case, if you don't see anything while you type, don't worry, something is happening in reality. So just tap your password and press enter. And then it's going to pull all of the information from GitHub and it's going to update your local folder. In my case, I did it already, so it's already up to date. Okay, and the first step is done. Now we need to download the Stable Diffusion version 1 models and drag and drop them or copy and paste them inside our new folder. We go into Argin Face in the Stability AI page and then we can go into Stable Diffusion Excel Base 1 and Excel Refiner. Let's go into this one first. We go into Files and Version and then we download the Safe Tensor, this one here and we do the same for the refiner so let's go back file and versions and this one if you want you can also download the variation autoencoder which is in here is also in the refiner model by the way but yeah it's this one here so you can download it and then you can add it into your variation autoencoder folder now once you have downloaded you will have them off obviously in the download folder what you have to do i'm gonna show you what i did you go into your stable diffusion web ui folder your local one obviously you go into models and then you have stable diffusion and then here is where you need to add your Stable Diffusion Excel Base and Stable Diffusion Excel Refiner. Here they are, one and two. For the Variational Autoencoder, instead you need to go into Variational Autoencoder folder and you will add, I have this one as the Excel Variational Autoencoder in this folder here. Once we have done this, we can initialize our Automatic 11.11. .11. So we'll double click on the web UI user, but okay, all good. 
great and we need to open this link here and now we have stable diffusion so the next step is to change the checkpoint to have the base in here so we'll look for the stable diffusion excel base model okay you will change the stable diffusion variational autoencoder to be automatic or known or you can also use the variational autoencoder you downloaded. If you don't have this, uh, you need to go into settings and then you scroll down. I usually go into show all pages because I never remember where to go. And then in here where you have quick setting list, you can add this stable diffusion variational autoencoder. You can add different options and all the options you will add in here, they will show up on top of your main page. So once you've done that, you need to apply settings and reload UI. Cool. So once you've done it, let's go back to the text to image. We type something like, I don't know, a woman and a dog running across a field. And then we can add, I'm going to steal some prompt from realistic vision. We don't need to create a very detailed prompt description with um, the new Stable Diffusion Excel just for you to be aware for getting realistic pictures, but surely helps having something uh, in the negative prompt at least. So I'm going to remove Bad Dream and Unrealistic Dream. And then maybe here I can add Realistic Detailed 8K. I'm going to change this to 30 sampling steps because it seems to be better. I'm going to use DPM2 or maybe I can use DPM++ as the caress. I'm going to change the resolution to the default one for this model, which is higher. So it's 1024. I'm gonna leave the seed as it is. And then I'm going to press generate. So in this case, we are running only the base Excel model. We are not running the refinement stage. We'll do this in another step afterwards. And this is the picture we got with the base model. Now this has to be the input for the refiner, right? So we'll send this picture to image to image. We'll change the checkpoint with the refiner, which is this one. Okay, then we scroll down and I'm going to use the same sampling method, 30 steps. I'm happy with 1024. I'm happy with the CFG scale. I'm going to change the, the noise strength. So the refiner works exactly the same as the image to image, right? So the higher the noise strength, the more dif different will be the, the final output compared to the image generated by the base model. The lower, the more similar the output will be to the image generated by the base model. So if we use a denoise strength equal to zero, we won't have any change. We should use something between 0 0.1, 0 0.3, I would say. So in this case, I'm going to use 0 0.20 so that we will have a very similar image to the one we just generated, but we more detailed, right? Like nicer. So let's press on generate and let's see what happened. And here you go, it definitely looks better. Obviously there's still something that we should change like the hands for example, that don't look great, but I think that overall it looks Okay, and that's it for it today. Uh, this was a very quick one. I just wanted to show you how to use Stable Diffusion Excel version one within Automatic 11.11. And I think it looks great, it works well. And this is Windows, I'm using an uh, NVIDIA 3090 GPU. So with Mac, it's slightly difficult. So I hope this was useful and see you at the next video. Bye.